Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So this is sort of a longer chunk of time for a video because we were out of town for two weeks in the beginning of uh, February and uh, there was some just sort of sporadic building going on. So uh, you can see the <laughs> new fuse cart getting built there and the fuse being put on the cart. Um, and uh, then we start uh, progress on the fuse. So it's uh, come together as uh, you've you've you can see, um, and there's a number of like little parts that get added to it now that have been prepped already. Um, the 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 sort of the rectangular skin with a hole on it that's on top of the table right there is the panel that uh, basically goes under my butt, um, under the seats uh, for the front front uh, front people in the airplane. Um, it's got those lightning holes on it and then the hole and there's like a cover that goes on top of that. And I'm just getting that ready um, and uh, I'll get that primed. I, I think I'm gonna do a quick priming job here. This is before our trip and I apologize, I'm a little rusty on exactly what uh, what we were working on there because that was a month ago <laughs> and a vacation ago. So we're closing out a number of smaller little things there. Uh, you can see, yep, there's priming going on here. Um, and uh, getting some of those parts primed and just getting things ready for, for before we leave. Um, but the interesting bits are coming up where we start riveting all of those together. Yep, there we go. We're riveting those together um, and putting those assemblies aside. Um, they actually don't come back uh, for quite a while. Um, I, I'm looking forward on the plans to figure out when they come, come back out. And it's not until much, much later assemblies. So they're just going on the shelf. Um, next, the gear weldments, um, well, the gear weldments got done there and sort of shaped and, and fit, and we're working on the longerons. Um, so the, those are the eighth inch piece, uh, pieces of angle uh, that are bent into specific shapes, and they basically transfer a lot of the loads in the airplane and sort of stiffen up the skins into the right shape and, and things like that. And you'll see that there's that big template, the, the blue template there, um, that uh, defines a lot of the curves in it. Um, there's, uh, I believe there's two or three, there's two curves and then there's two different twists. Um, and there are four laundrons for the front of the airplane, so two per side. Um, and you'll see us start, uh, well, yeah, I'm back to <laughs> putting the gear, gear weldments in place. You'll see that I jump around a lot on this build, right? Because um, I think maybe, maybe that's a benefit of having done this before. I'm, I'm comfortable looking ahead in the plans. And if it's something that I can just do by myself and Mary is not available, I'll just jump ahead and do that. Um, versus if there's something that's going on that I need her um, and she's available, then we'll jump to that and get that done. So the laundrons, for example, are things that I want to do with her um, because there's a lot more finesse to it and there's a lot more tweaking things. And getting these gear weldments in place, I can do by myself. Um, it's really just a question of fitting something. These were uh, surprisingly finicky. Um, they were tight in the sort of in the spar carry throughs and tight on the skin. Yeah, you can see <laughs> the, the, that fuse is moving not on purpose. It's because um, I'm having a yank on the, on the weldments to get them to fit. Um, there's a gajillion bolts that go through the weldment and into the, the, that spar carry through and they're very tight um, on purpose. Uh, but it makes it so that it's difficult to get an idea of how good of a fit uh, it is, right? Is it binding on something or is this just the the bolts that are tight? So there's a lot of uh, trial and error here, right? Just uh, making sure that it's it's fitting right, it's not rubbing on anything, and it's it's in the right spot. So that was a big chunk of that. And then you'll see, yep, I'm deburring a bunch of things. I'm cutting uh, the, the, the other longerons. We worked on uh, two of them, the two rear ones you can see are actually plopped on the back of the fuselage there. They're the aluminum uh, long pieces that are there. And I just cut the two bigger ones that go further forward. And again, I'm just deburring things, right? Like looking ahead and uh, I, I know I'm going to need these parts very soon. And, you know, I, it, it's the end of the night for me and I don't feel like doing anything particularly complex. So let's do bare things. It really helps you catch up on, on 
things later if you get them deburred early on. Uh, I don't know. I I like doing that. But anyway, so you can see. Oh yeah, that was a big bend right there. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be straight now it is curved and it fits the the template and then you sort of drill a bunch of holes in there um, and there's the twist yep you could see you know we clamped it and then I put a wrench on it and I twisted it and then you measure it I, I just used the iPhone um, angle measuring tool which actually worked really well for this and uh, and use that to figure out there's a lot of trial and error here we're using bending dies uh, I believe I think it's Bueller Industries make the bending dies um, for this. And you can see they're the little metal pieces, well, that come and go <laughs> onto the onto the clamps. Um, and you just do this really slowly. You, you, you put them in the dies and you squeeze them a little and you just follow it around. Don't do it too much. They will be over bend and then it's a pain to, you know, like it's, it's a ton of work to get it just right. But anyway, so they're on the plane. You can see that we, yep, there's all four of them <laughs> in position on the plane. And uh, I was really happy with how well they they came out. Um, it took us about six hours to get all those bends. You know, th that quick image, <laughs> those quick images of Landron's, um, that was six hours worth of bending Landron's and getting them just right and cutting them and bending them. Um, so it takes a while. Um, and I did it over many nights, right? Like I kept uh, working on it for a little bit and then I'll go do something else because otherwise you'll go crazy. Um, break it up a little bit. So here we're bending the, the, the sort of the curve in the rear uh, or the mid fuselage skin. You, you'll see that there's a curve there and uh, it's, it's hard. Well, you can sort of tell now. <laughs> it's hard to tell. So that back piece... Um, curves down and around and gets riveted onto the bottom of the of the fuselage. Um, so I click it in place and there's a lot of, again, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, right? Just get that curve just right. And you get to the point where it's close enough. So I'm going to put it on the plane, click it on and let it sit there for a few days so that maybe the It'll relax the, 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 the bend a little bit, and it'll set itself a little bit more. So um, pretty happy with how that right one came out. Uh, you can see me on the phone. I'm actually on the phone with Vans right now. I wasn't terribly happy with how uh, the edge distance was really close on one of those Landrons at the top there. And uh, so I called Vans to ask them, you know, like, is this really this close? And we're within two diameters, right? Like, we're just just better than two diameters for for that edge distance um but it just seemed like it could have a little more and i talked to them on the phone and they're like nope yep that's exactly it it's 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 right at two diameters so oh there's the bend um if you zoom scroll back a little bit you can see the bend on the left skin same deal plopped it up there put all those clicos in and it, drilled all of those holes. There's a bunch of holes there. You can see me moving clicos around and drilling things. And then as soon as I'm done with that, yep, at the top now, I'm going to start getting ready to drill the holes into the Landrons. Um, and there we go. Uh, drilled the top one and I uh, drilled the bottom one. And then we're drilling the bottom one further to the right. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a ton of progress uh, right there. So now we're looking at the front sort of structure, you can see me sort of assembling that front structure. And I discovered, of course, uh, four pieces that I hadn't uh, deburred. So um, they're sitting on the bench there. And there we go, we start deburring them. And we're going to plop them uh, on the front there and just sort of create the structure for the front. But that was the last month's worth of work on the airplane. More to come as usual. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, we'll talk soon.